The federal government is failing the states when it comes to immigration enforcement and protecting this nation's borders. At least that's the message from former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez. Who is joining us live this morning to talk about immigration and border issues. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much, Judge Gonzalez. Glad to have you along. Good to be with you. Well, there are claims and counterclaims about the cost of illegal immigrants to our country. One side claiming uh, they run up the cost of government. The other claim they contribute by uh, paying taxes. How do you assess those arguments? I think they're they're probably both true. I, I think that uh, they do provide a benefit to the economy. I, I think there's a net benefit um, in terms of uh, uh, participating or working at jobs that uh, either Americans are unwilling or unable to, to work at. But I also believe that many of them do require services, and um, uh, that does uh, uh, result in a um, a burden upon state and local governments, and for that, it's for that reason that I really think it's imperative, among many other reasons, that the federal government take action quickly on passing some some type of comprehensive immigration legislation. Are you optimistic that it will do so, Judge? Not at all. Uh, I think this is a very tough issue. Uh, it's tough because it impacts the economy, it impacts our national security, it impacts our foreign policy. It really does impact the very nature of who we are as a country. And uh, with so many other difficult problems confronting our country presently, I think that uh, lawmakers have little appetite to take it on. You know, I, I'm afraid it has been politicized to some degree. Uh, I think uh, Republicans, I worry about the fact that uh, the rhetoric has been so harsh on the right and so harsh from members of, of the Republican Party that it's alienated um, uh, Hispanics. And, and for Democrats, uh, I think that uh, that's fine. They, they like having that issue on the table. It helps them in elections. And so for, you know, for those reasons, I, I, I'm afraid that uh, there's a little incentive to take it on, even though in a post-9-11 world, it's very important that we know who's in this country and why. Well, we've all followed the fight over the immigration law in Arizona between the federal government and the state of Arizona. And I'm wondering, as a former attorney general, do you think the states have a right to enforce their own immigration laws when the federal government fails to do it? Well, that's a, it's, a, it's a very difficult issue. Uh, cl clearly, the Department of Justice has looked at the question carefully and has made a determination that, that the federal government has preempted this arena. And it is the federal government's um, authority to, um, to act in this area, but what I've said repeatedly is that when you when you claim authority to do something, you also assume responsibility to take care of the problem. And uh, you know what, how the courts are ultimately going to answer this question, it really is anybody's guess. I think, although I think a strong argument can be made that um, the federal government has preempted this field. Um, but I, I, you know, again, the the notion that you claim authority to do something but then fail to to discharge that responsibility, I think it's been is very disappointing, and I think it presents a clear danger to our country. Governor George W. Bush adopted an Hispanic friendly strategy, and it certainly helped propel him to the White House. With such things as economy and immigration and security on the table because of this, how do you see this impacting 2012? I think it hurts Republicans. Um, uh, I think one of the, the things about George W. Bush is that uh, Hispanics generally believe that uh, they care about their, their issues. Uh, they may not always have agreed with his, his policies, but I think that they really believe that he understood them coming from uh, a border state and that, uh, and that he was willing to at least listen to their concerns. It, and what I worry about is, uh, you know, it's not so much only the messenger that's important, but the, the tone of the message and the actual message itself is very important. And I fear that, uh, again, the rhetoric, the rhetoric has gotten so harsh from the right that it's, uh, it's going to present a challenge to the Republican Party, not only t in 2012, but beyond. Former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, thank you so much.